Today, we're going to build an app that plays a playlist of audio files from our local assets and specified URLs. We'll also integrate background audio, so audio continues playing even when users lock their device. They can control the audio player from the lock screen. Let's get into it. In our pubspec.yaml, the first package we're going to add is a cache network image package for displaying and caching the podcast image. The second is audio video progress bar for a clean progress bar UI that allows us to seek to different times in the audio while also showing us the amount of audio that is buffered. Then we have just audio and just audio background, so we can actually play audio files and keep them playing when backgrounded. And finally, we need rxdart to combine a few streams of data in order to properly show our video progress bar. Just audio requires a little bit of setup on iOS and Android. For iOS, if we want to load audio files from non-HTTPS URLs or use other features like caching and streaming, we have to add the NS app transport security key and allow arbitrary loads. Since AV Audio Sessions API includes the microphone API, the app store might detect that our app uses the microphone. So we need to add the NS microphone usage description key and usage description to our info plist. However, since our app doesn't use the microphone at all, we don't need to include this line. Instead, we have to go to our pod file and add this build configuration to compile out any microphone code. For Android, add internet permission and use clear text traffic for loading files from URLs. I added a short mp3 file called nature.mp3 that lives in my assets audio directory, so I'll add this directory to my pub spec to load the file. Audio player screen has a transparent app bar and a gradient background. To play our local audio file, we need to add an audio player to our stateful widget and initialize it in init state. Here we set the asset audio with set asset and provide the path. We dispose of our audio player in our dispose method. Let's make a button that plays or pauses the audio player. In a new stateless widget called controls, take in an audio player parameter and create a stream builder that listens to updates from the player. If the audio player is not playing, then we show a play button that calls audio player.play. And if it is playing, we pause the audio player. If neither condition is met, we just display a play arrow icon. We can now play and pause our audio file. Our audio progress bar needs to rebuild whenever our audio file's current position duration, buffer duration, or total duration changes. The audio player has a separate stream for each of these values. We want to combine these three streams into one stream and output a custom class called position data. Position data has three variables, position, buffered position, and duration. Above init state, let's use rxdart to combine the three streams. Position data stream is a getter that returns a stream of position data. Using rx.combineLatest3, we pass in each stream and return the position data. We use a stream builder to build our UI from this stream snapshot and render a progress bar with progress, buffered, and total arguments. And of course, we need to add the seek method to allow users to slide the progress bar to their desired timestamp. Add some styling to spice up the progress bar, and it works. Playing audio from a network can be done with set URL instead of set asset. Pass in a valid URL and hot restart the app. Just a very quick thing before we get started. If you have not yet subscribed to the podcast, like a blue iMac that says A on it, and there's like a little... All the data was properly updated. Now we're ready to move on to creating a playlist. Our playlist will have a mix of files from our local assets and network. Let's create the private variable playlist with a concatenating audio source. Here we specify each audio source. To include metadata about each audio source, include a media item defining an ID, title, artist, and art URI. We'll display this data in our UI soon. In init state, we first initialize the audio player and then call a new asynchronous method called init. Set the audio player's loop mode to all to wrap the playlist when going to the previous or next track and set the audio source to a playlist. To display the artwork, title, and artist, make a new widget called media metadata that takes these parameters and shows the cache network image in a decorated box with box shadow and border radius. Title and artist are text widgets with some light styling below this. We get the current metadata media item by using a stream builder that streams back the current source of the audio. Our controls need to have two more buttons to go to the previous and next track. Wrap the play pause button in a row widget and add an icon button that seeks to the previous and another one that seeks to the next. And just like that, our playlist is functioning perfectly. Favorite podcast app of choice, then please do. It really helps us out a lot. Or accomplish with this video instead of just we the youngest part. 
heard. I think I it's know. like self-perpetuating. Just a very quick. The last thing we're going to do is add background audio support to our app so we can listen to audio when our app is backgrounded or device is locked. In our pub spec, we already added the just audio background package. iOS requires us to add UI background modes with audio in our info plist. In the main Android manifest, add wake lock and foreground service permissions. Set the activity's Android name to the string. And then add the service and receiver element. If you get any errors about multidex when running the Android app, you may have to change your app build doc gradle's min SDK version to 21. Back in main.dart, our main function needs to be asynchronous and initialize just background audio to control the background audio when our app is not in the foreground. Because we define a media item as tags, we're able to see all this data in the lock screen, and it's working great. And assigning things and make sure everyone's doing smaller crest on the top. Interesting happen. It's the core of our business right now. Yep. Uh, and to What's going on, everybody? I'm bringing some more books. Consolidate once I find some reward that behavior. And I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to check out all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.